goddamn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Sorry, what are you talking about? Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. I ain't sure what you want from me, lady. Are you dead in the head, boy? Put the loot down in the cellar with the rest of it. Is that clear enough for you, you dumb yak? Which one are you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. Hey! What's taking so long down there? Poking around and get back up here. Wait a second now. I don't remember you. I thought they said be one of them Russell boys. You always this hospitable with your guests, lady? Let me give you some advice. Turn around. Walk out of here. Get far, far away. What the hell you think you're doing? You put that back or we will hunt you down. Ain't so tough now, are you? it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? 
Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting... Or... Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. You don't need to aim at them. Come on. Come on. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. They ain't provoked, they're just wolves. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. A whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I'm just checking this equipment. If only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. Hydrophobia? The only trophy I need is a photograph. And I hope it catches on. Some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir. And Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. Thank you again.
Mister. No, I'm... <laughs> Grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Say to me. Thank you. Oh, uh, take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a take a minute now. <sighs> my leg feels like it's like it's on fire. Here, drink this for the pain. Oh, 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 God, yes. And, and the thing, I almost didn't bring the trap.
Hello, sir. First time here, I think. Pelts make one of a kind garments. Worth the lake work, I assure you. Okay, let's take a look at it.
Looking to trade a pelt or two there. All right, let's have a look. I hope you make good use of that. Let's see. Okay. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. under me. <laughs> I got no competition. Why would I want some?
Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt in a fence to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, oh. after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. <laughs> Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes, this does look familiar. Close to town! Sir, you've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. I won't complain about New York again, let me tell you. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Good morning.
Yeah, that's it, boy. Boy. Extra, extra, read all about it. They're docking pay in the north. Yeah, heard that. Oh, well then. Don't you be causing more trouble around here. Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <sighs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Now. 
In the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. 
Who was that feller? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Oh, didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Whoa there. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Good to see you again, mister. Liberty is worth every penny. Thank you for your help. 